Hey, we're going yurtin', folks. Following Greg and Anna all the way. First stop, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. It was funny when we were leaving your place, you started rolling forward. <laughs> I took the brake off. I forgot that you were there. Yes, I said to Anna, he's rolling. He's going to hit us. Where are we going now? Swan River, Manitoba. It's a six hour journey, Regina to Yorkton, Yorkton to Swan River, Manitoba, and Swan River to the Paw. Once at the Paw, it's a short drive to Clearwater Lake and our campground. This is our yurt. I don't know. Is it from the 43? I didn't see a number. Where's the number? <laughs> The original yurt was a circular tent of felt or skins on a collapsible framework used by nomads in Mongolia, Siberia, and Turkey. These yurts at Clearwater are a fine facsimile, complete with all the comforts of home, except the important one, a washroom and toilet. So what are you guys doing here? We're putting up a mosquito tent. And we're going to put help. the table inside. Out of all the ones I did, that one went in the easiest. Is that the last one? No, I got like four more. Get busy. The pressure, I can't handle the pressure. You're doing a good job. Thank you. I think it looks great. It's done. Done. How long did that take? <laughs> Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Was it, was there any anxiety involved? Uh, only when Betty Ann kept pulling the poles apart. <laughs> What do you have to say about that young lady? I say, the next time we come to a tunnel, I'm throwing her down. <laughs> She's throwing me in the tunnel. <laughs> you were busy. Well, we will. Look at all the wood you got. <laughs> for Anna and her family, this has been a place to gather for years, a time to share and to relax. So camp is all set up. People and pets are settled in for a good rest. And we're all looking forward to adventures still to come. What you doing? Just sitting reading outside. It's a whole bunch of short stories written by a man who was very famous years ago. Showered and clean. How does that feel? Feels good. Yeah, it feels better. First day, what are we doing, yeah, folks? Go. We're gonna eat and then uh, we're gonna go to town and explore the town of the Paw. Hash browns and bacon so far. Okay. And I've got eggs inside, ready to go. Well, we have lots of eggs in our cabin if you need them. That's good, because we'll need some after today. Yeah, we brought 18. Okay, good. <laughs> Can bring enough. Plus, we have a lot of bacon. And bacon, too. Well, we'll eat bacon, I'm sure. Plus, we have wieners. we got about 30 hot dogs, too. 30? I, I told you guys I had a big bag of them. Big old bag. You just going to eat them all? Well, I don't know, but that's why you guys didn't need to bring any, silly billies. But you did. Oh, well, all right. Then. Which is okay because we can have a wiener roast later. Or two. Or 30 wiener roasts. <laughs> can't see the people. <laughs> 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 it's not going to be like three. This is my house signal. Eggs and cheese and some fresh chai. was born in the fall. She comes here every summer to get eaten by mosquitoes.
That's why we have all the smoke around, is to try to get rid of them. Here we go. Ah. Oh, let me try to get out of there. How long will it take you to blow that up, Emily? Right. Someone else has to blow it up. Why? Because. Your lungs aren't big enough, are they? Yeah. yeah. When it's blown up, what is it? A big hamburger? No. A big flying saucer? No. What is it? A big cookie. Yum. You can if you want. No, she can't do it. One of them. She's an adult to do this. Oh, okay. Do you want one of us to do it? Ask <laughs> Uncle Greg, maybe he'll do it for you. Oh. I think it's like, oh. <laughs> Say please. Oh, I can't do it. I can't blow this thing. Here, you take him if I'm going to blow this thing up. Okay. Okay. Hang on to him. I'll try my best. Deal. <laughs> Don't pull on him. Just let him. <laughs> Henry, get down. You're so funny. Look cute dog. Get him. How's it going so far? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take a long time. <laughs> My mom like does it like in three minutes. Yeah, for right. Just Four. pull a lot of hot air that way. Don't pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Take your breath already. <laughs> 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 Henry, no. This is Emily. <laughs> She's from where? My pa. The pa. The when were you, were you born there? Born. Yeah. Yeah? How old are you now? Seven. Seven? So you've lived seven years in the pa. Do you come out here to the campground every year? So when you come out to the campground, what do you? What's your favorite thing to do? Ride my bike. And where do you ride? To the park by myself. Oh, to the park by yourself. Okay. You don't like going to the beach? We can't now because it's raining. Because it's raining. It's not hardly raining. Who's Amanda? Auntie. She's your auntie. Who's Anna then? Is she your auntie too? Yes. You got two aunties? Or do you have more? Uh -huh. huh? I'm um, 20. 25 aunts. How many uncles? 17. 17. How many grandparents? 107? Henry. <laughs> two. Two grandparents. Okay. Okay, you better go see your auntie. Wow. Bye. The next day, Betty Ann and I decide to take a day trip to the nearby town of Flinflon. We were told they had the best fried chicken in Manitoba. So we went in search of the elusive chicken chef. Excuse me, do you know where the chicken shack is? Oh, okay. That way? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Do you know how to get to the chicken? Chicken chef. The chicken and you want to go to the chicken chef? Yeah. You're going to take the perimeter around town. Okay. You go out past the company. Right. Up the hill, around the town, you're going to come to Balsam, keep going past it, you're circling the entire town, and then all of a sudden on your right, it'll be Walmart, Canadian Tire, Victoria Inn, and Chicken Shack. Wow. The chicken is absolutely delicious. It's not greasy. The coating is wonderful. Turns out Flin Flon isn't only known for its chicken. It has quite a history as a mining town and sports a wonderful museum to glorify its past. And Flin Flon is the only town in Canada named after a fictional character, a guy named Josiah Flintabity Flonaton, better known as Flinty. 
thanks for a wonderful dinner. That was You're welcome. Great. <laughs> was it good? Delicious. <laughs> Really good. Oh yeah. Good job. A double cartwheel. Good job. Good job, Emily. You're a star, Emily. You're a star, Emily. Good job, Emily. You're a star. Still celebrating my birthday. Uh -huh. <laughs> you had chicken for lunch. Now you're having chicken for dinner. I am. You she must really like chicken. I do. <laughs> chicken and fish. And Bonnie brought the chicken. Thanks, Bonnie. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't be shy. Roberta Lee. Mm. Do you want to skip? Oh my. Would you like to try to skip? Yeah, okay, I'll hold these for you and then come over that way and then you can take your skipping rope. There we go. Ready? Skipping time. Go over there. Do you know how to do it? Okay, are you ready? Okay, grab the other end. Grab both ends. There you go. Oh, you are good. Whoops. I'll hold it, honey. I'll hold it. Go ahead. Okay, you skip. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa! Yeah, good job. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> She's getting shy. Bush pie pizza. Bush pie pizza? Yeah, just some bread with pizza stuff in the middle over a fire. Let's see. It's like a pizza pop. Kind of. Pizza pop. There's one over there. And that's what it looks like when you have eaten most of it. Some of it. Half of it. Half of it. Looks delicious. Delicio. Delicio. <laughs> On our final day in camp, Anna wanted to show us one of the natural attractions along the shore of Clearwater Lake. She took us to the caves. What are we doing? Going into the caves. What's that? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like trails? Yeah. Is it, do you have to hike? No. What do you do? You just walk? You look at the caves. Do you think maybe you should have like hiking shoes like I have? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of those things on? Look at Auntie Ashley's shoes. Yeah, but you guys are going to trip and fall and fall no. into a cave. You're going to fall into a cave. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. I've never been here before. Is that right? Yeah. Well, no, we've, we've just talked about it, but we've never come. Oh, so this is the first for you? This yes. Too. Well, I've certainly. always wanted to come check it out. It's certainly a first for us. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. As long as we don't get lost in a cave. No, for sure. These are not true caves, but deep crevices that formed when rock masses split away from the shoreline cliffs, a process that began about 8,000 years ago. In the dark, cool depths, you may see snow in early July and hardy plants which can grow in the dark. Yeah. Just put, back up and put your butt in there a little more. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, at least the rain waited until our last day. Time to pack up and head home, I guess. A little wet? A little wet, yes. It's pretty good rain you had. Yeah, it came down really good. I've been awake for a long time and I could hear the thunder and yeah. stuff coming. <gasps> I want to go home now. <laughs> Thanks Greg and Anna, great time.